Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM live from Price Cutter on East Battlefield in Springfield, kicking off our food drive, which we're so excited about. And one of the awesome beneficiaries is Ozarks Food Harvest. And our good friend Jordan Browning is here. Jordan, good to see you. Thank you for having me. Good morning to you. Well, it's, it's always great to see you. And we yes. love the work of Ozarks Food Harvest. Um, if somebody's tuning in for the first time, which welcome if you are. Uh, <laughs> tell us all about Ozarks Food Harvest. So we are the food bank for Southwest Missouri. So what we do is we serve a network of community and faith-based charities, about 270 across the 28 county service area. So we're actually supplying 70% of the food that the food pantries across Southwest, Southwest Missouri are providing. Wow. That is a big job, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, do you guys still need volunteers to help this Absolutely. make this happen? Absolutely, yeah, because we're sorting about 100,000 pounds of food per week. So we are desperate in need of volunteers because we have to make sure that that food is continually going out to our agencies each and every day. Yeah, it takes a lot of people, Jeremy. Uh, oh, it, it does. And by the way, you have a beautiful facility. Oh, I know I say that because every time I'm there, thank it's you. just so immaculately clean. Uh, wonderful storage areas, the freezers, the refrigerators, everything. Are you needing, what are you needing right now in, in, in terms of like donations? Yeah, the really big thing, I mean, we love food drives. I mean, protein donations are always great, but the best thing is a monetary donation. It's because of that warehouse capacity size and our truck sizes and supply chain, we can take just $1 donation and turn that into $10 worth of groceries. So we can stretch it as far as it will possibly go. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, uh, that these bags always remain the same price but you guys are really taking the hit but you can stretch that dollar because you can buy in huge quantities and that's that's what we need to do a monetary yeah. donation would really go a long way exactly yeah and because we can stretch that so far it's really getting the best bang for your buck when you're working with Ozarks food harvest and it's good to know that we're being good stewards of your dollar because 96 cents out of every dollar you donate is going straight towards food expenses so we're only spending four cents on administration so how have you seen the impact with the price cutter putting the Ozarks first help feed our neighbors campaign with these bags? Have you seen uh, an impact with, that this campaign has made? Yeah, it's made a tremendous impact, and especially as we're heading into the holiday season, because I mean, as sure as many average citizens are seeing, you know, utility bills are going up and, you know, food inflation is going up. So this is making a dramatic difference because I think last year we ended up with about $7,000 worth of donations so that provided more than 10,000 meals across wow. Southwest Missouri. So that's huge. Wow. Just even a donation like that. So are there more people being added to the list all the time? Absolutely, yeah. Right now, we are actually serving more people than we were during the height of the pandemic. So we're serving about 12,000 more people per month than we were in 2020 and 2021. Really? After the pandemic? Yes. What do you think the, the cause of that is? It's kind of a multi-factor. I mean, we're having supply chain issues, we're having inflation, um, and then just increased prices of groceries itself. I mean, and we're seeing that hit too, because just a truckload of tuna, that used to cost us about $60,000 to get a truckload. Now that's costing us $80,000 to get the same amount. Oh, wow. So the, you're doing work ahead of time. You were mentioning this before, like you know you're gonna have these issues, so you're having to order way ahead of time. You're having to get ahead of the game, right? Yes, so to get the, uh, holiday turkeys that we have for November this year, we actually had to order those back in January to make sure that we would have enough in time for that. So that supply chain right there is we're having to order food six months, even a year ahead to make sure that we're going to be able to meet those families that need food. Wow. Thank you for what you guys do. Seriously. And by the way, too, I'm, I'm going to just say, I know we have a scan to give uh, QR right, code. Right. And anytime you guys want to put that up, because I think the more we put that up, the better, because then maybe you can just take your phone to your screen, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, scan it right there, and then it'll take you how you can um, give you can do, yeah. and to donate mm -hmm. to these great organizations. And that's what the holiday season is all about, really. Absolutely. I mean, everybody feels it, especially this time of year. Yeah, yeah. And especially if you can just give just even a dollar is so important because you're just helping a family have that same Thanksgiving dinner that hopefully we're all going to have around Thanksgiving as well. So it's a real mm -hmm. good time to help your neighbor in need. Yeah, uh, throughout the rest of this program, we will have that up on the screen. So if you're home and you're not going to get out today, that's a great way to just give what you can. Yeah, absolutely. And it's such a great organization. Um, I know I've we've all donated to you, uh, especially mm. produce in the summertime. Yes. Is yes. there anything, uh, <laughs> you know, like um, canned goods that you're needing right now? Is there anything that you're wanting donations? Yeah, especially any kind of like canned protein item is especially needed because that's one of our most expensive items to get a hold of. So anything like tuna, chicken, or any kind of like canned fruits and vegetables, those are so important because that's really missing from families' diets in Southwest Missouri. Jordan, can I tell you how much I love canned chicken? And Kelly knows this about me. <laughs> I, I, I love like canned it too. chicken. I like it too. And I have it in my, I have tuna and canned chicken mm -hmm. all times in my pantry, in my so kitchen. So do I, Jeremy. And I love it. I don't I really have do. spam, but I do have chicken and, and I have tuna. spam. Oh, I have spam too, so don't worry. 
I, I mean, if you guys need with, spam, I got some donations for you. And there's some, there's some uh, pineapple you can eat it with. That, I'm just saying, yes. it's really good together, and I enjoy that. Fried spam and eggs, choice. It's do you really, love it, I really? Do, absolutely, yeah. Interesting. Jordan, that's why we're friends. Exactly. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's why we're friends right there, the mm -hmm. spam connection, which it's I love. Spam. <laughs> The spam connection. The spam connection coming to Fox 49 this fall. News <laughs> <laughs> You, you know never know where these interviews are going to take a turn. It'd be a great talk show. Just you and I <laughs> talking about it. spam eggs. Hey, we're making them again today. All, all the different ways you can eat spam. Yes. All the ways. By the way, guys, you can also have fun talking about giving to charity, just so you know. Well, you totally can. I mean, my goodness, yes. it's a good time. Yes, but don't forget, guys, just to come in to the store and get these bags. Five, ten dollars It's not that much yeah. extra. Just add it to your grocery list and then put it in the blue uh, barrel right there. And, and then, by the way, let's take a look at the sign behind yes. Jordan as well, too. Yes, the Check Out Hunger campaign. Yes, this is part of our Check Out Hunger campaign. We are also raising funds uh, for the entire holiday season of November and December. So if you just want to round up at the checkout, you can, all of that money's go directly to families in need across southwest Missouri. Yeah, it's so easy just to round up. And by the way, guys, too, I mean, I shop at Price Cutter all the time. I love it. They asked me just the other day, they go, do you want to round up? And I went, yes, I do, of because course. I remember Jordan telling me about it, and it's such a great campaign. Just round it up to the next dollar. Yeah, this is one of our biggest fundraisers of the year. And I think it's because so many people in southwest Missouri are so generous, and they recognize that people are really struggling, and they want everyone to have that same Thanksgiving or Christmas that everyone else does. That's right. And so if they don't ask you, just say, I want to round up for yeah. Ozarks Food Harvest. And uh, thank you so much, Jordan. It's always great to see you. And thank you for the work you do. My goodness, yes. there's no end to this. And, and what is your website? One more time. Oh, yes. It is OzarksFoodHarvest.org. Yes. Check them out, yes. guys. Okay. Thank it's so, so much fun. Thank, thank you so much, Jordan. Jordan. Hey, I'll text you later about some more spam recipes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, we'll be back right after this. Stay right there. Who knew we had such a, a bond over spam? <laughs> spam.